Hello everyone, it's Michael here from TIOF. Um, it's video time. Um, SW True. I just saw your um, question. I thought instead of giving you a very long winded answer, I would do a video to explain it all to you. Um, so here we go. Let's take a look at the Cadian using your daily four hour, one hour sequence. It's something I'd like to show you. Um, so this is the daily. I think you did a great job on the daily. Um, watch this one though. I don't like it because it's a pull back into this. Um, I would go for that one which is more what we call like a trap zone. Just that one above there. Especially also because of this wick. The wick is, is um, it invalidates the structure of the zone. But I suppose you could keep it on your chart but I, I would not um, I wouldn't be keen personally on that one. I would look more to the to the zone just above it. And for your demand, obviously you've got you've got that demand zone right there. Okay, so that's I think the daily was was fine. The um, four hour um, is also showing us again. This one isn't great. I would go just for that one there. I think this one is also tested from what I can see, but it's where the most of the move has come from so I would watch that and looking at the four hour area that we were looking at you have these areas up here they're a bit scrunched up but you can see I think the lower one's been tested twice and that's what that's where price is at right now so I would watch that these ones for the shorter nearer term moves potentially to bring it back down a little bit um, for your orders you can see these two areas on top of each other let me just blow it up so you can see what I'm talking about in those areas you see this one so look at even with this bad wick here you can see that the area still works which does happen um, and then the you have the upper area okay you just it's it's great to see that you'll see how that zone has worked a few times you're now back there you would expect a slightly deeper penetration maybe to get to this upper area all right and let me take a look at that upper one that we preferred yeah that's that's the area that we were just talking about you can see the move away f from there um, so that whole area there on the four hour. So the tr the trend on on both charts, I believe, is still up. The daily, the four hour is up. And then here's what I wanted to show you. Th this is a a rule that um, is out there already, but is often neglected by a lot of um, newer supply and demand traders, even when they know it. The thing about having rules made so public is that it's very easy to now think that we can all just apply them and will make money but there's so much to trading in its own that until I had someone hold my hand it was really hard um, for anyone to make money and the guys that you met that that I, I work with they're they're making um, money now thankfully because of the hand holding I guess uh, but many of them are doing quite well so this is the rule um, when you have a market like this this the circles you see are areas of, of demand going up and this this shows clearly an overextension of price. I'm not saying these are all tradable areas, I'm just pointing out to you that they're areas where prices have moved away from, uh, which would suggest that there are some there are some buy orders in those areas. Now the fact that they're all occurring one after another is showing a market that is being stretched. If you think of like a, a rubber band that is being stretched it's going to snap back at some point um, and you can see that it's beginning to struggle to, to go off I'm not saying it won't take off again from here but people are c taking off some of their profit if you've been long you know anywhere from down in here for example taking this zone you would be well into profit and be thinking about taking some of it off so I wouldn't. I would definitely wouldn't be trading these zones. Um, I would look more to the four-hour, to the four-hour zones to go long because then that that would show me that okay, prices have come back closer to daily demand, which is well down here more in these areas, um, and th even then I would be looking for new zones to be formed because these areas are not really 
quality areas that I would want to do a set and forget at. Okay, so I hope that helps. Just thought I would answer your question there using a video. Um, so a bit of top-down analysis for you there. And big up to my man, Joe McCool, um, I, SW2. I hope you got his responses. They're the same ones I would have given you. Um, fantastic work there, um, Joe. So all the hard work is paying off. So well done, sir. It's great to see. It's great to see. Nothing beats hard. Nothing beats hard work. Nothing beats hard work and patience, and dedication. Mr. Fibo, bow down to you, sir. I bow down. Well done. Uh, being patient with this gold trade. Superb, superb. We st we're still gonna talk, Phil. We're gonna talk about your your continuous chasing of me, and we. W I'm I'm glad you are doing that. Thank you for being persistent. All right. So I will leave it at that. Thank you guys. Um, let's keep up the chat. Thank you all for those contributing. Um, it's been it's beginning to to reap fruit, and we'll be building a nice strong community here. Thank you, everyone. All the best. Take care.